All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to this new lesson. It's uh, this this lesson is to teach you the Persian scale, which, in my opinion, is uh, one of the best like actual Arabian scales that that sound genuinely Arabian, like because in a minor scale, you can play one sequence of notes that sound sort of like Egyptian. <laughs> And then if you go into harmonic minor, like that's where you get like something that sounds proper, genuine kind of Egyptian. Right? And then you have like the genuine sort of um, like Arabian scales. So you have the Arabian scale itself and then you've got this one, which is the Persian scale. Um, and like you've got like the Hindustan uh, like the Indian scale, but this one, like what I'm saying is it, it literally just always sounds um, Arabian because um, like no matter, like it's very hard to make it not sound like that, where usually with these kind of scales, like um, say if you take a Japanese scale, like you have to play things that are very sort of scalic Right, so literally just playing up the scale as I sort of did in the intro, right? And then if you start playing around with the notes and don't do something that is literally scalic and you just play like some random notes within the scale, you then tend to just get something that just sounds like some random notes. I just sound like anything that could be in a rock song, a country song, anything, right? Because on a guitar, it's a Western instrument with 12 notes. And how many different flavors and genres and styles are there that use these 12 notes? And if you take everything that doesn't sound, say, Japanese or Arabian, if you take all of those things, and then what you are left with is maybe just one Japanese scale, one Arabian scale, and then if you don't literally just play that, it won't sound like that, right? But then that's what I'm saying about this one. This is why this uh, Persian scale is quite special because literally whatever you do within the scale, for some reason, it still just sounds Arabian, right? And the reason for that is, is because um, it has two sort of characteristics which actually make it uh, so that no matter what you do, uh, it will always sound Arabian because it sort of contains the two things that make uh, the 12 notes on the guitar sound Egyptian or Arabian. Uh, it's got like the minor seconds, which is just a note and then the note above it. Right, there's loads of those and then it's also got uh, this interval which is uh, a minor third right so so it's like uh, you got like these close ones together and then you've also got these big like uh, minor thirds right so it's literally like just complete Arabian just dark Arabian like stuff that you, that you want to write and what you want to hear uh, so that's enough of like a, an explanation about it uh, so let me just teach you this um, it starts on the uh, the low E uh, fifth fret and then sixth fret and then you move up to the A play the fourth fret and then the fifth fret and then the seventh fret and then up to the D third fret and then 6th fret, and then 7th fret, right, that's uh, the whole scale, so 5, 6, A, 4, 5, 7, D, 3, 6, 7, right, so that's the whole thing, right, and then if you want to do it up another octave, you go uh, up to the G, 3rd fret, and then 6th fret, 7th fret, and then up to the B, 5th fret, 6th fret, and then up to the high E, 4th fret, and then 5th fret. Right, so that's everything. Um, and like I say, you can literally just play anything with the notes and it will sound uh, Arabian, it will sound like what you want to uh, get from playing this scale. Um, if you want to like sort of play it somewhere else on the neck and stuff like that, so what else can you do with this scale? Um, the best way to do it, which is what I've said for all of my sort of exotic scale videos, um, 
just take the notes. Uh, I'll write what the notes are, um, so you don't have to figure it out in the description. And uh, you, you just um, draw out a fretboard of the guitar. I'll also put a link to how you can do that. I've got a lesson on that too. Um, and then you just plot the notes on the fretboard. So then you've literally got the scale all over the guitar. And then you can just start making up melodies wherever you want. Um, and in terms of like playing it over like a chord or whatever, um, try playing like um, like chords with the same root note as uh, as notes that are in this scale. So like the root note, the actual root note of the scale is A. So if you play like an A major chord or an A power chord, it will work with it. And then chords that um, have the same root as the other notes in the scale. Uh, so then like A, A sharp, um, C sharp, like they will probably translate pretty well. And uh, that's, that's it guys, um, I think. I don't think I missed anything. Always turn off the lesson and I think, oh, why didn't I say that? Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. All right, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please ask. And thank you very much. God bless.